Hello and welcome to another episode of the iPad Lettering Show. My name is Karen, I am from iPad Lettering, bringing you the best tips and tricks about anything iPad related. In this episode, we are going to talk about that brand new fancy Procreate brushes I made. These are exclusive for Procreate 5 and they take advantage of some of the new features in the Brush Maker Studio. So stay tuned for a fun video. Now let's have a look what's included in the brush set. So there's five brushes here. The first one is the stippling brush. Then we also have the stippling inline brush and I'll show you why this brush is super useful. Then we have the stipple dots, we have triple line and we have the freestyle brush. The first brush we are going to look at is the stippling brush. This is a super fun brush and is one that was inspired by my friend Amanda Arneal. She read about the new Brush Maker Studio features and immediately texted me and asked me if it was possible to make a stippling brush. She spent a lot of time lettering and doing stippling and she thought it would be super useful if it could just happen as part of one brush. And of course, I accepted the mission and I spent quite a while figuring out how this works, but I'm super happy about the result. So let's have a look. You can now write a word and it stipples around the letter automatically. So that is pretty cool. Now, one of the things that you would have noticed is, is that I never took the pencil off the page. So what happens is if you write something and then you stop, the brush doesn't remember what you've written before. So now you start again, you'll see how it kind of overwrites what you've written before. So it's quite important that you write your word without taking your brush off the canvas. Now, it's not too bad if you do that because that's what the stippling inline brush is for. So if this happens to you, what you can do is now use the eraser tool and then select the stippling inline brush. And now we can erase this. and tidy it up like that. Of course, it's easier if you don't have to do that, but if worse comes to worse, then there is definitely a solution for this. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Also, what happens if you have a letter that has a, a crossbar or something like that, then you would need the stippling in line brush as well. So now let's write the word letter, which has a double T, and I'll show you how we can fix this. So we'll Write the word with the two T's. And now we have the problem of the crossbar here. And now what we can do is use the stippling in line brush to create the crossbar. So let's create a mask first. And then instead of erasing, we're actually going to use a mask to create the same effect. And I'll show you why this is a good idea. So we're going to choose stippling in line, use black and then create the crossbar here. So now you can see that the crossbar is only visible where we have the stipple. So now what we can do is go back to the original layer and then use the stipple dots brush. And now we can paint in some more stipples around the edge here and create the crossbar this way. This is also a nice way to add some more stipples. Sometimes here at the start of your leather, you'll see that you know, you might want to add a few more or you might want to have them fizzle out a little bit. So you can use the stipple dots brush for this. Now let's paint them in here as well. And because we've been using the mask to create the crossbar, it's really nice and easy to do this. And then maybe here, a few more there. And now it looks pretty good. All right, so this is the stippling brush, which has three parts. It's got the stippling brush itself. It's got the stippling inline brush that you can use to erase and create crossbars or missing pieces. You can actually use this brush just by itself as well. This is just a normal lettering brush. It's a, it's a very nice brush, actually. I'm, I've been using this a bit. And then you've also got the stipple dots to add in additional dots that are missing or if you want to make the dots a little bit more intense you can use this as well and then the next brush to look at is that triple line brush 
And this is a brush I made because I've made a double line brush a few years ago and that brush worked in a way that you had to create both lines separately. But now you don't have to do that anymore. You can write the messy lines just like that. So this creates a really, really cool effect. And what you can see as well, the faster you go, the more messy it gets. So if I'm going very fast, it's quite messy. And then if I'm going a little bit slower, I can control it more and then create some more lines that are still a little bit messy, but a bit more controlled. So this is how you can use this brush for lettering pieces, which is super fun to use. And then last but not least, we have the freestyle brush. This is a brush I've actually worked on for a very long time. I wanted to make this probably for a year, but I just couldn't get it right. And the effect I wanted to achieve with this brush is to have the top of the letter go this way. So normally it would go this way, but I wanted it to go this way. And I needed to, and I needed to be able to turn the brush source around, which wasn't possible until Procreate 5. So I was super happy with this new feature because it actually allowed me to finally make this brush. So when you try this brush out, what you want to do is put quite a lot of pressure on your downstroke to achieve this look here. I'm going to show you an in as well. You can see how this creates this super cute in. Let's try again, make it a bit nicer. So this just creates this really nice lettering effect that I've tried to achieve for a long time. It wasn't possible until we've had Procreate 5. All right, there we have it. These are the brand new lettering brushes for Procreate 5. Let me know your thoughts in the comment of this video. Make sure you watch my other videos as well. I've made another two brush set brand new for Procreate 5. I will bloop them up at the end of this video. There's also links in the description of the video, so make sure you check those out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notifications every time I post a new video, and I'll see you next time.